गाइस दिस इज अभिषेक आई हैव टोटल एट ईयर ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन सर्विस नाउ एप्लीकेशन डेवलपमेंट एंड डिलीवरी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू वीडियो लाइक हाउ वी कैन परफॉर्म डेटाबेस ऑपरेशंस लाइक क्रिएटिंग एंड रिकॉर्ड इन सर्विस नाउ डिलीटिंग अपडेटिंग और इंसर्टिंग अ रिकॉर्ड इन सर्विस नाउ यूजिंग द डेटाबेस सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so here i have taken four huge huge cases uh, where we can see all those create read update and delete operations in service now so to begin with our first huge case where we need to create an incident for logged in user for network outages on his personal computer will be given as a short description and we will assign it to help desk so my service now personal developer instance is already ready and we are going to uh, see all those operations on background script uh so once your background script is open you need to start type now let's understand this gr dot initialize let's under uh, first understand uh, this two piece two line of code like in the first line we have initialized an object of glide record class and by using this object we can access each and every field of this uh, incident table and gr dot initialize what gr dot initialize will do it will open a blank form at the back end and that form is ready to accept the data so the first thing is we need to provide the caller id as an logged in user so zr dot caller underscore id caller underscore id is the back end name of the caller let me show you the incident form so you need to check the backend name uh, if you right click on this caller the backend name is caller underscore id or i have added an extension called sn utils into it so using this sn utils it will give you various options like if i click on this so technical name it will give you the technical name so the caller id should be the logged in user okay so gr dot caller underscore id should be logged in user for getting the logged in user detail you need to type gs dot get user id okay now we need to provide the short description better i'll copy it uh, from here short description is equals to and the last we need to assign it to the assignment group like we need to assign this uh, incident to it help desk okay or any assignment group suppose uh, we need to assign it to not assign to but the assignment group some help desk yeah this is the help desk okay so assignment group is a reference kind of field we need to pass the sys id of that group okay for passing the society you need to copy the society click here or you just need to click here to copy the society so zr dot again the assignment group better i 
copy it again from here equals to okay help this society we need to give gr dot insert to insert any record okay so currently if i see how many records are there on this incident table we need to close these two tab they are not required total 67 required uh, 67 records are here and once i run this script so once it stop finishing you will see here that uh, one record is inserted and if i uh, go on my incident list view Previously, we have 67 record and now 68. The new record has already been inserted. You can see all those values. Like the short description we have given as a network out is in caller personal computer. The caller ID is given and the assignment group is in help desk. So this is how you can create any record. This is we are showing it you in uh, background script, but uh, similar kind of script you can use in any area like in business rule you can use you can use it in workflow under the run script and any places okay and if you want to capture those changes uh, you can create and fix a script as well uh, then only your changes will be captured in the update set like background script doesn't allow you to capture it in update sets now moving on to our uh, second huge case which is the read reading the data from the service now tables and use cases display all the incident which are in progress and of low priority okay so first we need to check in incidents how many incidents we have which are of low priority and which are in in progress state so again we are opening this in uh, incident and list view so the state should be in progress. I'll give you so matching on this in progress. Okay, and uh, is there any incident on low priority? I don't have any, so let me check um, high priority instead of low priority I'm taking. So there were four incident matching with our criteria. Let me check how we can uh, check those incident using the script. So for this, we need to again glide that table. Let me write the code where. okay now we have made this filter we can uh, service now provide us the capability to uh, create the query directly from this filter so we will just copy this query and that query can be added into add encoded query here directly you need not to make it uh, manually okay so here it shows that a state is equals to 2 and priority is equals to 2 now i will query this table and uh, I'll start in while loop because we have more than one number of record. GS dot print for printing those data. And I need to uh, maybe show the incident number or the short description. GR dot number plus I'll give some space to 
better look and i'll give gr dot short underscore so here you can see there were four records incident nine one nine two seven four four and four nine and their short description you can match those with the with the existing data like network storage and available can't log into the sap from my pc so this okay now moving on to our next huge case so in the new huge case we need to update assignment group of all the incident if short description contains email so let me check how many incident we are we have where are the short description contains email just going back on the incident list view i'll clear this filter okay i i'll make a new filter where short description contains email so we have total eight incident where the assignment group is network software and we just wanted to change those assignment group using the script background script so maybe i'll put a new group called email help desk okay i'm editing this script so i just copy this query and uh, okay so until here it will filter all those incident where the short description contains email okay now we just need to update all those so gr dot assignment group you wanted to update so i'll check the backend name assignment group is equals to again we need to pass the sys id of that email help address which is this To update, we just need to give gr dot update, and we will run this. Okay, it shows that uh, these many records has been updated, and uh, you need to check it here if the assignment group has changed or not. okay assignment group gets changed to uh, only those where assignment groups was empty so we need to make that filter even after having the any other assignment group as well it will changed so now moving on to our last huge case which is delete all the incident which are created after last month okay so uh, again we need to make that filter like how many incident we have those are created after the last month so going back on our incident list view we just need to pick only those incident created after and last month okay the query is ready I just copy query i'll erase everything after this gr dot add encoded query again delete record is a method which is used to uh, delete the record okay if i run it it 
it has uh, deleted one record and if I refresh this list view the incident is gone so today we have seen all those four info uh, all those four method like how we can create uh, records how we can update how we can delete the records in service now and these queries are very useful they are used day and night in the service now so make a good practice of this uh, in our next class we will explore more glider code apis there is a long list of glider code of api so stay tuned with us thank you for watching this video